Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to uh, my channel. For today's video, I am pumped because I am going to be reviewing the entire Melt Cosmetics Amor y Mariposas collection. Whew. Now, it is a large collection. We got the whole PR box here in front of me. This is a first impressions. I haven't tried anything yet. So rest assured, I will have an updates video up with this collection featured in it as well. But if you want to ride along with me on these first impressions, then just keep watching. So some deets on the collection. This is currently available on the Melt Cosmetics website and it will be available on Sephora on the 24th of this month. I have the PR box. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but Melt Cosmetics actually DM'd me and asked if I wanted the collection and I was like, <laughs> Heck yeah. I actually was going to purchase the palette to review, but the entire collection, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little overwhelming to me. So I was like, let me just get the palette, stick with what I'm comfortable with. But I am so thankful to the Mount Cosmetics team for reaching out to me to send this amazing PR box to me, which she's expensive. And I'm gonna be honest, you must not have watched my previous videos because I do think Melt Cosmetics palettes are quite inconsistent, but I've never tried anything other than their palettes, so it, that'll be fun today to play with. Yeah, really pumped. So like I said, they did send me the PR box, and you can pick up the PR box that I have if you would like, but she is $425. It's quite exquisite. I have a quick video up here showing you how amazing it is, but um, I'm gonna try and break down each of the products and kind of tell you what's worth it and what's not so you don't have to spend $425. I mean, if you have somebody that you love in your life that loves makeup, this potentially could be a great Christmas present. So the entirety of the collection is going to consist of a seven piece brush set. You can also get a mirror. There are three lip liners, three gel liners, five lipsticks, a six pan blush palette, and then a first of its kind in terms of size, a 20 pan eyeshadow palette. So just really quickly, we have the Amor y Mariposas mirror, which is $19. It feels kind of heavy. I mean, personally, I probably wouldn't spend $19 on this, but that's cute. Then we have the brush set, which is what I am going to be using today to apply my shadows. Um, so they have this really cute kind of charm in the middle. This brush set is $109, so she's not cheap. I don't necessarily think it's worth $109 for some other brush sets that you can get at this price point, but I will admit the shape's really, really nice and they feel quite soft. So I'm not knocking it yet because I do think it's expensive, but they do feel nice. We have two face brushes in here and then some interesting shapes for eyes. So I'm excited to test these out today. So those are kind of the accessories. Let's take a look into the eyeshadow palette. This is what I was most pumped about and I will have timestamps to where I cover each type of product individually if you are only interested in certain products. But this is the obviously Amor y Mariposas eyeshadow palette. So this is $70 on its own. Please be aware that this is a pressed pigment palette. This has a 12 month lifespan and is made in Italy. Comes in really gorgeous golden packaging. The inside is lined with red velvet. This isn't just a red inside, it's velvet, okay? <laughs> wow, the detail. And then here is the packaging, very artistic here. And then the back also has some butterflies running along there. And then, ta-da! we have the gorgeous palette. So I wouldn't say I was initially super in love with this color story just because it's not the kind of color story that typically I would go for, but I was excited for it nonetheless because I do think it's an interesting array of colors and I do like the way that the palette is actually laid out because it's very kind of clear and concise, which I do think makes it easy for you to create a look because a palette that does contain this many color stories maybe can get confusing, but the way that they laid it out, it just makes sense. And I was really excited for this palette because they've never come out with a palette this big. I will admit the pans were smaller than I thought they were going to be. They're about the size, a little bit smaller than a quarter, um, but I did expect the pan sizes to be a bit bigger, but I'm not mad. 
I'd rather have smaller shades with more colors in a palette. So I'm really excited about the layout of this palette. Take a close look. You can see each shade is embossed with a butterfly. Absolutely gorgeous. And the palette itself feels quite sturdy, very heavy. So without further ado, let's get into the swatches, shall we? We have a lot of colors to swatch, so bear with me. I probably should try and pronounce these. I've been working on my Spanish pronunciation if you don't know my husband is Spanish. <laughs> so we have Cielito Lindo, Carino. I think I said that wrong. Carin, Carino, I don't know. <laughs> Sentimientos. Okay, I have no clue how to pronounce this. Mitro uh, con. Okay. <laughs> Pathetic. Okay, so here's the first four swatches. Ooh, the green blue row. Let's see. I did put my finger in quite light, so that's why they're a little bit sheer. I will try to press harder for the next row. Swatch okay, not bad. Chose really hard words to pronounce. <laughs> Guamochil, guam, okay. This is a hard one to pronounce, okay. Mensaje, tequila, I can pronounce that. Te adoro, te adoro. I'm trying, y'all. Ooh, that swatched really, really nice. We have, we're going into the warmer, kind of orangey, reddish row. They feel pretty nice, but we won't really know until we get to application. We have, Senales, Mesquite, Maria, Mariposa. Oof, that's swatched stunning. Oof, this row swatched amazing. Abuelita, Abrosas, Nueva Vida, y Charro, Charro, Charro. <laughs> Oof, that red, oh my god. Jeez. Okay, we're getting into the row that you know I'm excited about. Nube, mojada, sagrado, y perla. Wow, okay. These are all 20 shades. Not gonna lie, they all swatch really, really nice, but obviously the truth is going to be in application, but very happy with this so far. Okay, so here's the look. Probably not my best work, but this palette did push me out of my comfort zone, and I'm really happy about that. <laughs> so I did find that with the brush sets, I feel like because I'm doing such a detailed look, the set didn't have all of the brushes that I needed, so I grabbed into my own personal collection. Uh, but I think for simple looks, the brush collection does have everything you need for an eye look. But we used a lot of colors today. So anyways, starting off with... Sonales. I'm using an ESOM G34 and this is just going to help colors blend really and just coming up front This is a good melt palette. I didn't have any problems blending the shades and I specifically went into shades that were typically harder to work with and blend purples and greens and I had no issues so um, Very happy with the formulation of this palette and the glare if you're interested is what I'm trying to get across next we're going to take Almohada and I'm using this brush from the set. Using this color in the inner half of my crease, okay? And I wanna show you how nice this is going to blend and work out. See that? That was super easy. And it's a purple shade. These purples are really good. And purple is one of those colors where most brands kind of fail at. Next up, we're going into Nube. And I'm gonna put this in the outer half of the crease. This one is a little bit more cool, whereas the other purple shade that we used has more warmth to it. Again, you can see it's blending quite easily. This palette has a lot of depth to it. I would say for my taste, and this palette wasn't made for me, I would like some lighter tones in here, something I could put under the brow bone, and even the shimmers I felt were quite dark. So I feel like if you use this palette, the look is going to have some depth to it. So just be aware. Great for smoky eyes and a lot of color and opacity. I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm using that Nube shade again, and I'm running it to the outer two thirds of the lower lash line, just like this. So we're gonna take Charo. This we're gonna use to add even more depth. So I'm gonna circle that in the outer V of my eye. 
and then also kind of get it in the outer quarter of the lower lash line. I'm taking my makeup sponge and I'm cleaning up the outer edge here. I mean, those purples blended super easily. I do need to blend this a little bit more. I'm very, very impressed with how these purples worked out. They were quite easy to use. Okay, so I'm going to take my Kaleidos Tone Activator and I'm gonna create a cut crease guide. It doesn't need to be perfect. I tried using this brush from the brush set, but honestly, it was just a little bit too flimsy, so I kind of struggled, so I'm just gonna use my own brush and I'll be right back. Okay, so cut crease guide is laid down. I wanted to pop some green in, so I'm using Sentimientos, and I'm just using this angled brush. This has a lot of pigment. It's going to cover right over that purple, so just be aware of that. But I'm just kind of placing it right here, and this is going to kind of be the base for the other green-blue shades that we're using. And it doesn't get too muddy with the purple, which is what I was worried about. You can see the amount of pigment. It doesn't need to be perfect. We're going to go in and blend later. The Isam W21, we're starting off with Cielito Lindo. And this is what I mean by I wish maybe there was something lighter than this, because this is one of the lightest shimmers in the palette, and it's more of like a medium shade. So maybe something lighter for a highlight would have been nice. I'm not complaining, though. I'm not mad. I'm just... It's just an observation. <laughs> Gorgeous, right? Very pretty. Applied with a brush, really nice. Okay, now we're gonna add some depth. I'm using this shade right here, and the green that we put underneath is gonna help it pop more. Then I want you to go in with the brushes that you used already, and kind of work on blending the purple and this green edge, just so that it looks softer. You don't need to blend them together, but just soften it so that there's a little bit more of a haze. This eye looks a lot better than this eye, I'd like to add. I did better on this eye. I always do better with the second eye, because I have practice. Next, I'm taking the pencil brush, which I love. It's really, really tiny, and we're going into Carino. I'm just filling in the inner corner of my lower lash line. Wow, this eye, so pretty. This eye was definitely a trial run, but I love this. Okay. So, so far, I mean, like I said, I haven't used every shade. I'm going to continue using this palette, and in one of my speed review videos, I will have the whole collection featured in there, but not a dud palette from Melt at all. I really like it. The formula really does seem amped up. There's something about this formula that is different than even some of my favorite palettes from them. The colors are more blendable. They're more soft. They're easier to work with, but they all are just as pigmented as Melt is known for. I'm not just saying this because they sent me it in PR. <sighs> FYI, legitimately, really good palette thus far with the shades that I've used. Okay, let's move on to the three gel liners that came out in the collection. So each gel liner is going to be $22. They come in this gorgeous box and I'm really excited. I don't have a lot of fun colored gel liners in my collection, but it has a gold top and butterflies running along the side. So the first color that we have is Estrella, Estrella, which is a nice gold. So that's Estrella. Really pretty. I can see this being really fun. Um, the next color that we have is Poncha. And whew, she is a hot, hot pink. You can see these have so much pigment to them. It's incredible. So the Estrella gel liner has more of a metallic finish. Whereas the Concha, a little bit more matte. And then last we have Colibri, which is a metallic kind of teal shade. And this is what I used for my look today. So here's the thing with these, by the way. Here's the swatches of all three of them. This does have more pigment. I just did a really soft swatch. Uh, these are super soft. I have never come across a gel liner that feels so soft, which is why this looks messy. I just, when I stuck my brush in, I wasn't expecting it to be not wet, but really, really soft. I worry might make it a little bit hard to do too much detail work with this. I don't know, at least it's not really hard, but it doesn't have any drag, so it is really easy to use. But because it's so soft, I do feel like you lose some precision. So I just put it right over my cut crease. I'm kind of nervous to do this because again, it's really, really soft and I wasn't expecting that 
with the first application. So hopefully this one will be better. Ugh, they are so soft. Okay. I'm just gonna line the top of the cut. Well, let me just say with these gel liners, I will never ever do a graphic liner tutorial because that was really hard for me. Not very good at that. But I had to at least use one of the gel liners. Extremely soft, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. I think if there's a color that you feel like you would use, it is worth it. At the end of the day, I do really like how soft it is, but it is going to take some adjustment on my end to get used to applying it like that. Uh, but I think this could be pretty cool bases for the look because they are so soft, so you can put them all over the eyelid. They're going to be great in the waterline. Actually, you know what? Let me pop this in the waterline as well. I'm going to continue to use the same shade. Let's see how it acts in that scenario. Okay, very cool. I mean, that just glid on so easily. So I really do like these gel liners. It just kind of depends on if you're gonna use them or not because they are interesting colors, but I think they're the perfect complement to this collection. They're super duper fun. Even though I suck at graphic liner, maybe this is my wake up call to practice some more. All right, let's move on to the blush palette. So this is the Monarch Monarcha Monarcha? I'm trying. Blush palette. This is made in the USA and it has a 12 month shelf life. The price of this is $58. There's a pretty good deal on the Melt website where you can get this blush palette and the eyeshadow palette for $95. So that's actually a really, really good deal. Here is what the packaging looks like on the outside. So beautiful. You do have a mirror and then it's going to reveal the blushes. So you're supposed to be able to really layer these shades. Like these two shades right here are shimmer finishes and the rest are matte. So they do say if you want a little bit of a glow to add these on top. The colors look really pretty. It's a great variety of light pink to a brighter pink to a deeper red, a warm orange shade, and then you do have the shimmer finishes. So let's swatch these. Okay, so let's go through the top. Milagritos, Vida, and Flor. So this is a matte soft peach tone. They say this is a rose gold blush. Then we have a brighter pink tone here. Let's get to the bottom. Feliz, Sonrisa, and Conmigo. And this is a row that I think you guys are really going to love. It really plays with the warmer tones here. And then you can see we have a shimmer shade here. And we have more of a burnt orange and then a matte rust, which did not swatch super pigmented, which is nice. I mean, it does have some pigment, but it should still be pretty usable. The formula feels really nice and soft. I've never used a blush formula for Melt before, so I can't speak on my experience with that. But let's start off light here. We're gonna use this shade right here. And I think we're gonna layer and build a little bit just to play with the formulas. So this one is quite soft, which I think is gonna be really great for my lighter skin tone girls. Oh, but it builds up quite nice. I like this formula. I think this is a really nice formula. Seems to be nice and blendable buildable which is something that I look for in a blush and now we have a little bit more intensity. I'm going to go in with some of Conmigo and I'm going to focus this toward the back almost the lower back of my cheek to work almost as a contour. I don't think this color by the way goes with my look but we're just we're practicing. I just want to show you some of the colors. Wow, definitely not too difficult to apply, which I'm very happy about. And then let's layer finally. This brush is awesome. I really like this brush with a little Vita because this is more of a rosy gold. Yeah, and this does add a little bit more sheen to the blush. So if you have like a medium to deep skin tone, this color would be great as a highlight. If you're a little bit on the more fair side, use it as a blush topper to add that shimmer finish. I'm actually going to focus this as a highlight for me because I think it can work. So I have it blended onto the apple of my cheek, but I'm also going to concentrate it on my cheekbone just to lift my face and the look. Okay, I really like this. I mean, I know it's my first time using this, but I think it's a very layerable palette. You can customize how you want. You can change around the finishes. And I love the colors in here. They do seem to look different on the cheek as well, which is something that I look for for blushes. So gorgeous. I'm going to do lashes now, and then we'll be back to finish with 
the lip products. Okay, so let's move on to lips. It's gonna make the look very extra because very bright colors, but we'll start off with the Perfectionist Lip Pencils. I've never tried a lip pencil from Melt before, but uh, the, everything on this collection is just amazing. Even the velvet insides to the boxes here, and here are what the colors will look like. I think you have the ends here so you can see what color, but let's swatch these really quickly. So these are sharpenable. They are made in the Czech Republic. Uh, so this first shade is Corazon, which is a red. Ooh, ooh, I love the feeling of these. They aren't too creamy. They're more of a waxy consistency, so some of you might not like that but I feel like I'm gonna get great control, especially with deeper colors like these. You don't want them to be too creamy because you need control, otherwise your lips won't look very good. This is Familia, which is a deeper purple shade. I love the way that these feel. I like my lip pencils dry. <laughs> okay, and then lastly we have Esperanza which is like a hot pink. So those are the lip liners. Let's go over the lipsticks. But these are $19 each, by the way, or you can get all three in a set on the Melt website for $48, which is a better value, but are you gonna use these colors? You need to think about that. And finally, there are five lipsticks in the collection. They are gonna come in beautiful golden packaging like this. And oh my gosh, look at the outer packaging of these lipsticks. They are stunning. And the inside, even more stunning. Do you guys see that glitter? I don't want to use these. Do you see that? Okay, so let me open all of these. Each of these lipsticks are going to be $22 each. So we have Amor Eterno. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. So yes, okay, looks really pretty. Now, then we have Besos. Now Besos is a matte, it doesn't have those glitters. So this is going to be like a brighter coral color has a lot of pink to it. Individable hot pink. So the colors in this collection for the lips aren't necessarily like wearable, <laughs> but they're really, really fun. Okay, then we have Alma Gemela. I might have said that wrong, but I think I didn't. This one is a matte, like kind of like a hot pink matte. Okay, last one is Recuerdos, Recuerdos. Recuerdos. Anyways, it's a deep, deep purple. This is a matte finish. So those are all the lips. We have three matte lipsticks, two of that glimmer finish, and then we have the three lip liners. I mean, no matter what lipstick I use, it's just, it really is going to clash, isn't it? Should I do dark purple? Should I be extra like that? Or should I do like a hot pink? Let's just do the freaking purple. So I'm gonna use Familia Lip Liner, BT Dubs. Lipsticks are made in USA, I forgot to mention that. Even though these are more of like a waxy texture, they glide on easily, there's no drag. Ugh, you have so much precision with these, almost too much, because you can clearly see how uneven everything is. Okay, I know it's messed up looking, but it's part of the process. Okay, we're gonna go into Recuerdos. Okay, I will say, my lips were dry, and this makes them feel dry. Their matte lipstick is not very creamy, quite drying, lots of drag on the lips. So this is not my favorite matte lipstick formula. It's just not, I'm sure it will stay a long time, but it's, it's not very comfortable. So in terms of the matte lipstick formula, not a big fan, and I am gonna clean the outer edges, by the way. These two colors together are a yes. Okay, let's go in with the Individable glitter lipstick and let's put it on top. <gasps> mm hmm This is a combo. Mm hmm And you can kind of see the little glitters on the lips. If you buy the PR set, this is a combo that I personally recommend. Let me clean up the lips and then I will be back to give you my rounded up final thoughts on everything. So this look is super intense <laughs> but it really did pull together this is like a melt cosmetics kind of look i'm very happy with it and overall i am really happy with this collection i'm not saying you need to go buy the 400 pr package but in terms of the eyeshadow palette if this is something you 
we're kind of eyeing and you like the colors I must say this is probably the best melt palette that I've ever tried I had zero issues with it everything blended so smooth I feel like they really stepped it up with this palette I would say the color story is probably not my kind of color story there are some things I would change about it there's some shades missing that I feel like would be good so it's not curated for me but in terms of quality it's the best palette that melt has had so if you're eyeing it amazing i even really love the blush palette as well it's just so customizable the formulas are really easy to use so so far i'm really liking this as well i do recommend this if this is something you're eyeing what else really impressed me the gel liners really impressed me it's a formula that i certainly had to get used to but they seem to be quite pigmented they set down pretty fast they don't see to budge after they set down. I mean, the color is nice and strong in my waterline still. So if these are colors that you think you would use, these are really fun to play with. I like these a lot. What don't I like from this collection, right? The lip liners, love the formula of this. It's a little drying but you have so much precision with them. The only thing for me is the colors are a little out there for me, but the formula is really nice. And the lipsticks, very fun. Definitely, again, colors outside of my comfort zone. I don't like the matte lipstick formula. I think the matte lipstick formula is a bit too drying for me, so it's not a formula I would reach for. The glitter formula is also quite drying. It's fun, but the lipstick formulas aren't for me, but I will say the packaging themselves are probably some of the most beautiful pieces in the collection. I think the brushes are really, really nice. They are synthetic hair, if you were wondering. Uh, they do feel quite high quality. They're very, very soft. So, I mean, I like these brushes. I don't have anything bad to say about them. I do think, you know, the brushes that I like, I feel like I could probably get a better deal with brands that I like better. But still, it's a nice brush set. I mean, the mirror... It's kind of, it's $20. I don't think you need the mirror, but yeah, overall, a very successful collection for Melt. I will say you can definitely tell how much love, thought, blood, sweat, and tears went into this collection down to every detail. So it is a collection that is very thought out. So much love is put into it. I feel like so much love was put into each of these formulas, the color choices, the packaging, the theming behind the collection, the meaning behind the collection. If you're into it, absolutely go for it. I am a huge fan of this collection. This is my favorite collection that Melt has ever come out with, so cannot say enough good things about this. Thank you so much to Melt Cosmetics for sending this my way. I had so much fun playing with this collection, and again, this was a first impressions. I will be continuing to play with this collection. I will have a speed makeup reviews video up in the next few weeks. And this collection will be included in there to give you my updated thoughts. So if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.